Love Bug from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at www.wikipedia.org. The Love Bug, Placia nearctica, is a species of March fly found in parts of Central America and the southeastern United States, especially along the Gulf Coast. It is also known as the honeymoon fly or double headed bug. During and after mating, adult pairs remain coupled, even in flight, for up to several days. The species was first described in 1940 by D. E. Hardy, but was seen in Louisiana as early as 1911. At that time, he reported the incidence of love bugs to be widespread, but most common in Texas, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. However, by the end of the 20th century, the species had spread heavily to all areas bordering the Gulf of Mexico, as well as Georgia and South Carolina. L.A. Hetrick, writing in 1970, found the bug was also widespread in central and northern Florida, and described its flights as reaching altitudes of 300 to 450 meters, 980 to 1480 feet, and extending several kilometers over the Gulf. Love bugs' larvae feed on partially decayed vegetation in the landscape, and, in this respect, are beneficial to humans. Adults primarily feed on nectar from various plants, particularly sweet clover, goldenrod, and Brazilian pepper. Semiannual pest status. Localized love bug flights can number in the millions. The slow, drifting movement of the insects has been described as almost reminiscent of snowfall, except that, unlike snow, the flies also rise into the air. Two major flights occur each year, first in late spring, then in late summer. In South Florida, a third, but smaller flight can occur in December. The spring flight occurs during late April and May, and in the summer during late August and September. Flights extend over periods of four to five weeks. Mating takes place almost immediately after emergence of the females. Adult females live only three to four days, while males live a little longer. They have to stick to each other at all times. This species' reputation as a public nuisance is due not to any bite or sting, it is incapable of either, but to its slightly acidic body chemistry. Because airborne love bugs can exist in enormous numbers near highways, they die in large numbers on automobile windshields, hoods, and radiator grills when the vehicles travel at high speeds. If left for more than an hour or two, the remains become extremely difficult to remove. Their body chemistry has a nearly neutral 6.5 pH, but may become acidic at 4.25 pH if left on the car for a day. In the past, the acidity of the dead adult body, especially the female's egg masses, often resulted in pits and etches in automotive paint and chrome if not quickly removed. However, advances in automotive paints and protective coatings have reduced this threat significantly. Now the greatest concern is excessive clogging of vehicle radiator air passages by the bodies of the adults with a reduction of the cooling effect on engines and the obstruction of windshields when the remains of the adults and egg masses are smeared on the glass. Lovebug adults are attracted to light-colored surfaces, especially if they are freshly painted, but adults congregate almost anywhere, apparently reacting to the effects of sunlight on automobile fumes, asphalt, and other products affected by environmental factors still not completely understood. Folklore Urban legend holds that lovebugs are synthetic, the result of a University of Florida genetics experiment gone wrong. Research by L. L. Bushman showed that migration explained the introduction of the love bug into Florida and other southeastern states, contrary to the urban myth that the University of Florida created them by manipulating DNA to control mosquito populations. Much speculation about the love bug still thrives. This is mainly because the larval form of this insect is seldom seen, as it lives and feeds in the thatch of grasses for most of the year. While various fungi are suspected of being natural controls for this species, biological control of these non-pest flies is not a priority for funding. Management Love bugs are subject to some significant natural controls, such as various parasitic fungi and dry weather, which dries out the thatch, resulting in a higher mortality rate for the immatures. As the love bug migrated around the Gulf Coast, first to Texas, then Louisiana, then further eastward, the initial populations for many years were so excessive that they caused public concern and initiated rumors of their origin. However, as pest populations migrate naturally, their natural controls are usually not far behind. While it often took decades, love bug flights are no longer present in the huge numbers that once existed simply because their natural controls, mostly fungi, caught up with established populations. In many areas, local love bug flights may only be present in excessively large numbers due to occasional local conditions that may not be repeated in successive years. 
While love bugs are not a favored food of most insectivores due to their acidic taste, love bug larvae and some adults are food for birds such as quail and robins. Arthropod predators include spiders, some predatory insects such as earwigs, at least two species of beetle larvae, and centipedes. Life cycle The love bug has been recorded to have two flights that occur each year, in which the insect has a total lifespan of about four to nine months depending on flight season. The first flight occurs during the months of April and May, and the second occurs in August and September. The flights generally last about four to five weeks each time. Female love bugs can lay as many as 100 to 350 eggs and regularly lay these eggs around decaying material on the top layer of ground soil. Love bug eggs generally hatch after two to four days, depending on flight season. Once the eggs have hatched, the larvae start feeding on the decaying material around them, such as decaying plants on the soil and other organic material, and live and remain in the soil until they develop to the pupa stage. During the warmer months, the love bug larvae remain in the larva phase for approximately 120 days and approximately 240 days during the cooler months. Love bugs typically stay in the pupa stage about 7 to 9 days before reaching the adult phase, in which they can start reproducing. Once adults, love bugs are ready to start copulating to begin reproducing. Adult male love bugs emerge first from the pupal stage and hover around until female love bugs emerge. Mating between love bugs takes place immediately after emergence of the adult females. A male love bug copulates and will remain paired up until the female has been fully fertilized. Copulation takes place for two to three days before the female detaches, lays her eggs, and dies. Adult females have been recorded to live up to seven days, while adult males may live up to two to five days, but on average, love bugs live three to four days. However, Thornhill, 1976, recorded recapture data that showed males live longer in the field than females. This audio was recorded on June 17, 2019.